Hello everybody, this is CJ with Gamers Paradise doing another product review here. Uh, this time we are looking at another another uh, group of models for Conflict 47. This is the Armored Lieutenant. Well, U.S. Armored Officer is the proper code for it. But it's pretty much the Lieutenant and his two bodyguards for the U.S. Armored Infantry, which I have been building up a very large number of, um, which you will eventually see. So... Let's go ahead and start, obviously, at three bases. Let's get those out of the way. Um, then you have a sprue with two heads and an arm holding a telephone receiver. Next up is four arms. Um, these are for the bodyguards. The arm with the other, the arm with the phone is for the lieutenant. And of course, you have your stock U.S. Armored Infantry bodies. Nothing really special about these. Yeah, it, it's your standard guys. Um, we've seen those a couple times now. And then you have the Lieutenant. Now, the Lieutenant is, you'll notice, right right there there's like a notch or a, a, a bit out of his armor that's so his arm can cross over to his head while he's holding the phone um sort of an admission that this guy really could not do the thing that they have him doing but hey it's it's light sci-fi um now of course i mean all his kit looks the same as well actually yeah, it's roughly the same as everybody else. He has the receiver here, and then he has his um, bedroll. And there is his Thompson submachine gun, which, something else I find weird about this, <laughs> I mean, it, it's just kind of odd to me, is that all these dudes, like, we'll just leave him right there. Now, here's my sergeant. He's not painted up yet, but there's my sergeant. The sergeant, my NCO, he's got... An assault rifle. The guy hanging out with the bazooka has got an assault rifle. Everybody, actually, that's not my sergeant. But still, everybody, yeah, because my sergeant has the, the lefty gun, so he can point at things with his right hand. But yeah, everybody has this assault rifle, this really cool assault rifle. 18 inch range, um, you know, no real drawbacks to attacks. It's not super long range, but they're they're armored infantry. They can kind of wade through a lot of it. Oh, sorry. But this guy, this guy, because he is an officer, has a Thompson. Why? I mean, really, why? Why does he just not have another... I mean, he's the only dude pointing, so I mean, it's not like you can't tell he's the officer. His bodyguards even have special heads. Um... But he has, you know, a Thompson submachine gun, which I think is kind of pointless because it's six inches shorter range and everything else, and makes him slightly less combat effective than his fellow armored troopers, than the men he is commanding. But yes, there is his Thompson right there on his back, strapped to it. He's not even holding it. So this guy is. Kind of wish he was holding a map and a compass. Some people will get that. Anyway, um, as far as the model itself, there's a little bit of mold line issue, not a lot. Um, you can see where I think some of the release material still is on him. Not a bad sculpt, obviously. He's the standard. Oh, is that a sidearm? Why, well, yes. He, he, it doesn't have him as having one, but there it is, on his uh, right hip, there's a sidearm as well. And he does not have the ammo can for the, uh, for the assault rifle. Maybe they thought he, was, he couldn't, couldn't carry an ammo can, but he can have a pistol and a SMG, you know. But yeah, as you can see, he's a little bit more detailed than the other guys, but he's still pretty much your standard U.S. Army heavy infantry soldier. I think his... Thompson, yeah, does not have a stock. Oh, that's interesting. So, I guess, I'm guessing the suit accounts for recoil. I don't know. So, yeah. 
That is the armored lieutenant, or armored officer. So I guess technically he'd be the lieutenant, the captain, the major, whatever armored officers you wanted. I would hope they come out with a couple other sculpts. Um, so yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, next time we're going to be talking about the jackal, which is a jumping... Uh, jumping mech thing for the Americans in their ever never-ending fight against uh, the tyranny of futuristic Nazi Germany in Conflict 47. So until next time, y'all have a great day, great evening, great whatever it is where you are, and um, I will talk to you later.